Hello my Whoop friends. This video is part of a short video series where I try to share my experiences with the Meteor 75 Pro with you as well as all my Whoop knowledge. I'll try to show you valuable tips and tricks that should help you with the Meteor 75 Pro Whoop as well as with other tiny Whoops. Check out the other videos on my channel to get the most out of my many years of Whoop race and RC flying experience. Let's get started. The last video was about which 45mm propellers are available for the Meteor 75 Pro. And I created a table so you can compare the different propellers. In this video I'll show you now how to remove a propeller from your tiny Whoop motor. For example on your Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro or on any other tiny Whoop. I will now hand over to my AI friend who will speak for me for the rest of the video. If you're lucky and your propeller isn't stuck, you can remove it with your fingers. To do this, hold the motor bell firmly from underneath with three fingers. And with your other hand, grasp the propeller with three fingers too. Then pull and turn the propeller while simultaneously pressing the motor housing firmly with your other hand so that it can't turn. With right-handed propellers, this works relatively well with your right hand on the propeller. With left-handed propellers, you should theoretically use your left hand on the propeller for the best grip. But this is a bit unusual for right-handed people. That's why I usually try to do it with my right hand on the propeller. Sometimes the propeller is so tightly attached to the motor shaft that you can't remove it by hand. In this case you can wrap the propeller with a 500mm long piece of thread or dental floss to apply more force. To do this you have to have the thread and loop it around a propeller blade. Then you move on to the next propeller blade until you have wrapped all the propeller blades once. You can then wrap the two ends of the thread that lead away from the propeller together around your fourth free finger. The distance has to be right to apply force to the propeller. With the other three fingers you can then grip the propeller in the same way you would, if you wanted to remove the propeller with just your fingers. There is another simple method. If you have two small kitchen knives, you can use them to remove the propeller. You have to be careful not to cut yourself, of course. You can also sand down the lower part of the knife with a Dremel grinder so that it is no longer sharp. And round off the tip of the knife. Then it would be a nice and safe prop remover tool. With the kitchen knife method, you can also remove very stuck propellers. Even propellers that are pressed right down onto the motor bell. Personally, I always press the propellers right down onto the motor bell. This creates less vibration from the propeller and also reduces the chance of a motor shaft bending in a crash. With the kitchen knives, you can easily reach the small gap between the propeller hub and the motor bell. It's important that you get into this gap so that the knives can push the propeller hub upward by twisting both knives outwards. There are also prop removal tools from various manufacturers and now even on AliExpress. Like the one shown in the video here, but many have design flaws and only work to a limited extent. Like the one in the video here, personally, I won't be ordering another one at the moment. Most of these prop poppers aren't designed to remove propellers that have been pushed all the way down onto the motor bell. If any of you have one of these prop poppers, I'd appreciate your feedback on how well it works and whether you're satisfied with it. I'd most likely buy the Prop Popper V2 by inventor Winson FPV, which is available at tinywhoop.com. I made a post in my YouTube community with links to prop poppers. I've also made many other posts with educational content in my YouTube community. It's worth checking out the posts. There are even a few tips I haven't made a video about it yet. So be sure to check them out. Maybe you can learn something from them that will make your whoop life a little easier. In the coming months, there will be a few more videos about the Meteor 75 Pro how you can modify it, how you can repair it, and so on. 
Stay tuned my friends and subscribe to the channel and set the notifications to on so you don't miss a single video. And last but not least, you can already find many videos of the Meteor 75 Pro on this channel in which I try to help you with this tiny book. Lots of tutorials, tuning tips, flight tips and repair videos. And there will be even more in the future if I am motivated enough by you, my friends. Stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel and activate the notification if you want to know when I publish a new video. And if you decide to buy a new Meteor 75 Pro or another book from Beta FPV, please use the affiliate link in the video description. This motivates me to publish more high quality videos. A like or a comment from you also helps motivate me to produce new videos with educational content. In other words, you will probably have the most videos for this WHOOP and the best support in the future if all goes well. I can't promise anything, but I'll do my best. The chances are good. Happy flying my WHOOP friends!